uh, our first responders are, are lacking the essentials. You know, how do we expect them to be around for us if we can't protect them now? I've made so far 15. It may not be a big difference, but it's a little difference. And if we all did a little bit, it means a lot. My daughter works for a clinic and she's having to check patients at the door before they come into the office and she couldn't find any masks. So I said, well, let's, let's see what we can do. Ketchup. We pulled out material that we had here and got to send her 12 masks overnight. They were ecstatic. She goes, Mom, you know, can you send me more? This is a bulletproof vest right here for the bacteria and the viruses. This is, doesn't have to be Kevlar. It's just a barrier between what's out there and what can get into you. And it, it motivates me to continue to do this for any of the first responders out there. Being a former first responder for 33 and a half years, I can understand the fears and the desire to, to be out there to help. It'd be nice to have others helping. Then we're just creating an environment. It's not advisable. So it's just Yaya and me. Prior to the sewing machine, we were sewing them by hand, very time consuming. And she has 21 employees. So I pulled out a, a sewing machine that my neighbor lent me. <laughs> so we're working on the other half of her crew. So we're just trying to do our best. But bottom line, when it comes down to it, it's you know pulling out what you have from your closet knowing that we have to help each other. That's the only way of survival. It's humanity.